Hello and welcome back to the Zany Zoroastrians. It has been about a week since I'd looked at this. I had to record the previous episodes in bulk because I was away for last week. So I felt it was a perfect opportunity to kind of have a look around, work out with a fresh new look on things where we wanted to go. So first of all, I want to have a look at the map because things are looking a little bit weird. Like up here is completely and utterly just chaos. I, I love it. I absolutely love the chaos maps, but at the same time, the bit of the map we care about is not really chaos right now. We are in the Ishiquid stuff. We still have the same liege, although it's only 14. There may be something we could do with that. I don't know, we're his regent, so maybe there's definitely something we could do. As his regent, we don't have much that we could do except for potentially, we, we have a lot of plot power towards killing him. I don't know, we could convert to his culture. I don't really want to convert to his culture though. We just take concubines from him? No, because the Sunni faith doesn't allow that. Okay, so there's potential stuff we could do. Um, yeah, but not necessarily anything that would be useful. We could also just declare a war on him. We could press all of our claims on him, but I don't want to do that. What claims do we have? We have one for this land over here, and we have one for this land over here. Well, those are obviously claims that we can press against the individuals themselves, so. This person. No allies, 2,000 troops. Why have we not attacked them yet? Because we have a truce. Okay, for five years. Makes sense. Am I fabricating on the next one along? It looks like I am fabricating on the next one along at 90% chance per year. Nice. And then Banu Tanum. This one. Just see if they have any land anywhere else. No. Okay. They have 11,000 troops. Where do they have them from? There's some retinue, but mostly from their vassals. They must just have good land in there. Okay, so they're not that large in terms of size, so the land must just be good. Okay, well, there's not an awful lot we can do there, but... Oh, his marshal's also 20. That's probably increasing some stuff there. So if their heir took over, that would probably change some things. What's our chance to kill him? Not very high. Okay, let's have a look into that. With a lot of money, we can potentially get some stuff happening. I also have a prisoner who's been in prison for six years. A Chinese prince, a prince of the Chinese imperial family. His parent was an emperor. Okay, he's in the dungeon. Why is he in, in my dungeon? I may have forgotten why he's in my dungeon. Um, okay. Well, I mean, there's a lot we could do. We could ransom him, but they don't want him. Can we recruit him? No. Could just release him. Uh, and, yeah, it's not really something I want to do. Well, I guess he can stay in our prison then, can't he? Uh, plots that we know about? Somebody is trying to kill us, but we'll ask our rival to stop back in the plot. Uh, and we'll also, we cannot ask this person to do anything. Okay. We're potentially in this plot, which I don't think we are. Um, right, who can join this plot? At 33%, that seems good enough to me. We'll do some in, uh, we'll do some sending of gifts and get some people interested in this plot. For a second there, I thought that was the person we were trying to kill. And I was a little confused. I was like, what? Why can we invite the person we want to kill into uh, a plot to kill himself? It's like, you know what? I'll get the knife. I'll sit very still. You just, you just do your work and I'll sit here. You know, it's fine. I almost just declared a war on him just through muscle memory. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot of money we're spending on this, but hopefully we should have a whole bunch joining our plot. That's at least one. Okay, the rest. Um, my liege, I'm pleased to report that your errant subject has been converted to the Sunni faith. Are you my... Wait. Why is my son now following the Sunni faith? No. He's a true believer. Is that because my Mobad... Oh, my Mobad and son is Sunni. Well, that just seems wrong. Sorry, you're fired. Right, I need a new person to be invited to do that job. They need to be my religion. They need to have good learning. Oh, and they want to join our court. Yeah, uh, I'm going to invite this guy. He seems like he'll be perfect for the job. Right. Well, whenever he wants to arrive, you know. Hey, I'm going to... um. Uh, I'm going to appoint you my court chaplain. And you're going to convert my capital, if possible. I cannot have you convert my capital? Really? 
Yadst. Yeah. Uh, it, wait, Yadst is our capital, right? Uh, no, Shiraz is our capital now. Hey, can I just switch over to Shiraz? Nope. Okay. I want to convert the people. When can I change him back to a different job? Uh, the 10th of July. Okay, so a little bit. Right. So do I have a lot of people in this plot yet? No. They would... I have auto-invite plots on, so... Why are they not joining? News from China. Um, we have a new empress. Okay. Um, like her predecessor, she's known to believe in open China. Takes a special interest in Hindus, but frowns on, conc on concubines. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Well, looks like the invite to plot button doesn't work, so we're going to invite to plot here. And we'll see what goes on. Yeah, a couple invites. Uh, another invite here. There we go. Another gift, which we can then... Oh, there we go. And now they're all invited. There's weird stuff going on here, isn't there? Yeah. We'll manually invite some people. Make sure everyone is invited to the plot. There we go. 141 plot power. And then if I open up this one, I have seen that, but I'm just going to ignore it for the second and get my plot powers in. Uh, right. Then we'll pay attention. Crusade for West Francia. In a grand announcement, the Pope declares another crusade for West Francia. The Christian lords gather from all across the world to bring West Francia into the fold of the Christian kingdoms and out of the infidel hands. The West Francian lands have long been under the rule of barbaric heathen King Thodor, uh, Th Thodor of Vestergotland. It is only a matter of time before he will fall under the Christian onslaught. Gods will grant remission of sin to everyone partaking in the righteous war. There's this guy's 5,000 troops. In West Fra Wait, how much of West Francia does he actually have? He has a little bit, actually. But it's his 5,000 troops versus uh, the entirety of the Catholic world, which isn't really going to go very well from, for him, but okay. I've noticed Gonche's affection for one of the courtiers and heard her praise his deity, so it did not surprise me when she approached me and tried to convince me to appoint him as court imam. Trouble is, Nard is well respected, and many would disapprove if I were to fulfill Gonche's wishes. Uh, so I can make my son Mobad. No. Nard will keep his job. Yeah, even if it is a very stupid name. Right. Um, let's carry on here. Um, we can claim his hijaz from multiple people. Don't really need to. And also, that's the. Emirate, so that's the next level up, so it doesn't even help us. That's fine. Um, how's my plot going? 150 p plot power, a lot of people invited. It's a good situation to be in for a plot. Nice. Should fire soon, I would hope. My plot uh, may have leaked to someone outside the conspiracy. We do not know who yet, but maybe we'll hear from him. And my spy master never bring me good news. Yes, exactly. You can have a struggle edge, Kate. Wait, nope, nope, wrong series. Um, you can have a thrift education. I was on full uh, radical remove and autopilot, where you just uh, we're at the point where I just want martial skill, so it's all into that. It has come to my attention you are the leader of the plot to kill Emir Musa II of the Banu Tanim Emirate. I find this most fascinating. I bet others would too. I suspect that you wish to keep this a secret, but my silence comes with a price. Signed, Sheikh Shahin of. Aramasa. I'll pay you the money, son. Son? Kinsman. Not even our son. And then, seconds later, um, Jabir uh, let everyone know about my plot uh, during a drunken stupor at the local tavern. I should never in have included that drunken bladder blabber mouth in this plot this in a plot this delicate. Um, he doesn't appear to be drunken. Interesting. But whatever. I was wondering whether that, that... I guess it doesn't matter whether they're, you're actually drunk or not for that. Ooh. One, I can invite another person and get another person into the plot. And two... What's going on here with the Banu Tanim Revolt? That's the one too high there, I think. So, I have my claim on this one, I believe, right? Uh, if I go and have a look at him. Uh... Yeah, I have my claim on that one. 
So it's not great right now that there's a revolt, but it might help us eventually. The revolt has one there. Um, what's the revolt wanting to do? Increase council power. Okay. So if it could wake, if it could weaken the main armies a little bit, that would be a good situation for us to jump on, potentially. We do have about 6,000 troops, so there is potential for us to do something. Um, why don't you have a faith education? Why not? Um, okay. Invite to plot. Um, no. Right, I also just realized something about my son there. It said that they might get a Sunni educator. Yeah, okay. No. No, 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 no. You need a new educator. Um... My wife who's got the right religion seems like a good choice. Huh, okay. So I guess that's how my son got the wrong ed um, thing there. Oh, maybe he just chose it himself. Is he still a true believer? I try to convert him. Still a true believer, huh? I guess it's because he's already been converted recently and then soon he'll you'll be able to convert him again. That's fine. Our heir is at least our religion, which works for me anyway. Right. Uh, a couple of years till we can declare our war on these guys. Manu Tanum is still our target. According to the Grand Vizier, the peasants of Shiraz have started a delightful tradition where the peasantry from several villages meet up and dance. Um, tax modifier, or I don't want to owe my money to this. Do not want to waste my money on such nonsense. I think I'm going to go for it. The prosperity is quite nice anyway. My rival died a natural death. Fantastic. Um, I overheard two people's uh, animated discussions about a horse and payment due today, but the courtier insists on paying the stable master later this week. I'm going to intervene. Uh, try my best, but um, they still won't speak to each other. Okay, that's fine. Recently, I've noticed the pitiful state of my daughter, Farron. Well, she has the flu. Okay, well, court physician, deal with it. He's gained widespread renown for having worked in our court. Well, isn't that lovely? Request council support from Hijaz. Okay. Interesting. Well, what can we do with our, uh, with our favor with them? We could potentially get a ma- uh, We could potentially get a child uh, to marry one of our children, but that's not necessarily going to be that helpful, especially as he doesn't have any yet. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm going to decline right now. Nothing I really want him for, unless I want him to join my factions, and I'm not interested in that right now. I think my daughter might fancy me. Well, we'll make a move. She's also unmarried right now, so probably needs to marry. My son is married, though. Um, oh, I just want to take a quick look at these people. Not that one, although that one, I don't know why we have her marked down a special interest. Um, right, these two. I just want to check the bloodline is still going well. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, there's Farron, our daughter, I see. Okay. I'm just seeing who's got the bloodline. So you got the bloodline. And you got the bloodline. Okay, interesting. We'll still mark her as special interest as well. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's got to be a way to get that bloodline to drop down. Seems through matrilineal transfer is the only way we're going to be able to get it. Much easier to get the ones that are matrilineal inheritance, I've noticed, but... Hmm. What we could do is if we have a... I'm just thinking, if we have a female ruler, we can get it into our bloodline fairly easily, can't we? Yeah, let me just have a look. In addition to normal bloodline inheritance, if two characters are in a matrilineal marriage, the children inherit patrilineal bloodline. You'd have to be in a non-matrilineal marriage to get that, to go like that. Yeah, that's where the trouble starts li lining in. Yeah, I already went through this several times, didn't I? Yeah, there's got to be a good way to do it, but I just need to work it out. Um, Obviously, the... um. Yeah, obviously it doesn't work too well. Guess if they had a son. And it still doesn't work too well. I don't know. I had to think about it some more and how we, we're going to do that. But there, there's, there's ways to do it, I'm sure. I just need to figure out how that actually works. wonder if one of them is your concubine, whether that works. It does say normal bloodline inheritance, right? Uh, right. Am I going to continue uh, having relations with all of these people? Uh, no, I'm going to break up with Dalaram, I think. Yeah, we'll break up with her. Right. I'm just going to go back in here again. Oh, that was Dalaram, the person of who had the bloodline. <laughs> oh, alright. Um. Hmm. Does this say in addition? This is in addition. 
Oh, maybe I'm just being stupid. That says in addition to normal bloodline inheritance. Yeah. Okay. And there you go. If a child has no known father and a mother has a patrilineal bloodline, the child will inherit it. And that's where the um that's where the thing that looks kind of buggy happens. Okay. Yeah. So all we need to do, because if two characters in a matrilineal marriage, it'll go down. But it also just. Yeah, so what you need to do is you need to be a female ruler and then matrilineally and matrilineally marry someone, and that would work, I think. I might be wrong there, but I think that would work. Also, let's notice that our sister is a concubine of this guy. Hmm, interesting. How did that happen? Anyway, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I think I figured out how to get that bloodline in. We just need to be a female character. Now, obviously, the next issue... Oh, my lover just informed me that she's pregnant with my child. Fantastic. The next issue, one, we need to marry her, is that we have we don't currently have that gender law. Now, we could change this one if a vassal didn't have a negative uh, opinion of me. That would open up matrilineal marriage as well. We'd also need to be... We would have to go all the way to absolute cognatic, though, for it to actually happen. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, how would we do that? Well, no negative opinion, and we don't have any of those ones in the one must be true. Or we have full status of women. That's not really going to work, is it? Now. Okay, so we would... Absolute cognatic is the best we could do. But it's not going to work until we switch to, like, primogenitor. So I think I'm just going to have to keep an eye on these people. For a while, basically. And, uh, wait. Uh, no, I don't need your council support. Right, um, daughter. You know what? We could just take her as a concubine. We get 75 prestige for doing so. Let's do that. We'll take her as a concubine. That, that means we have three concubines, which works out quite well for us. And she is now a young concubine as well. Which should get us some prestige, right? Yeah. Gets us some prestige. Nice. Um, we're still building in Shiraz. Oh, I should be converting in Shiraz. Yes. Get to converting. I want them to convert the um, people in Shiraz as well. Because I want my son to be my religion. We'll see how it goes, though. Definitely see how it goes. Uh, ooh, point counselor. You would like me to be your spy master? I mean, I accept, obviously. Um, we now, if we go and look at plot power. Ooh, we could get that entire plot going by ourselves with our incredible um, intrigue. I don't really want to kill him, but it is interesting that I could kill him. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's just quickly check. Uh, I do actually... Do I want to switch to Agnatic Cognatic? Maybe. How, how, many, how negative opinion of, of me do vassals have? Uh, We could easily uh, chuck that up a little bit, couldn't we? Just send a couple of gifts out. We're looking good, right? No vassal has a negative opinion of me. And I can now switch up to Agnatic Cognatic. Now, Primogenitor would obviously be where I'd want to be, but we can't get the administrations because we don't... Well, we do have Legalism 3, actually. We can switch to Late, fe late Feudal, can't we? Um, We could, yeah. Everyone opposes it, but we could easily switch. Anyway, Victorious Crusaders. God has granted King uh, Argamot of um, Brett's victory in the Crusade for West Francia. King Thoder of uh, Vestergotland has been beaten at every turn through the war, and has finally had to give up on his holding in West Francia. Uh, King Argantmot, uh, Moit, Moe? Anyway, has granted the new lands of West Francia to Charles Carling. The Pope has made an announcement about the victories and the virtues of the Crusaders, true faithful protectors of the faith. With the pagans being pushed out of their old lands, there are certainly more conflicts to come, cursed infidels. Right. Uh, and I now need to get people to vote with me on the council. Okay. Um, can I just ask for council support? Well, I guess I want to buy favors, ideally. 141. How much is a favor from you? 80. Well, I'll buy that one. That's a deal. Buy favor? He says no. Okay. Buy a favor? Okay. Buy a favor? 200. Well, I guess I want to buy one with you as well. That then gives me three on my side, three on their side. Seems good. Right. Uh, call in his council support. And... Call in the council support. 
Nice, I now have enough support in the council to switch to this. Yes, okay. We've approved late feudal administration. And that now means that I can switch to all sorts of inheritance types, such as primogenitor. So that means that our son would be the next one to inherit, which I think is where I want to be. Yeah, I definitely want to be something like that. So, primogenitor, switch. Yes, and then I want to switch to agnatic cognatic, but I really didn't want to be in seniority for too long. So that's good. I could have switched to uh, ultimate genitor, which I don't really use that often. But it isn't a weird concept where if the youngest child inherits, they should be ruling for the longest amount of time uh, possible. It leads to weird situations, which I don't really want to deal with. Yeah, I'm quite happy just having it be normal. Our son inherits, his children inherit, and then that works out a little bit more evenly for what we're after. Right. Uh, I can force realm peace. No reason to, but I could. Uh, anything else I want to do? No. Banu Tanum, how many men do you have left? 12,000. You have more than you did. Because you hired an extra 6,000. Okay. Um, he is running out of money fairly quickly. We have a lot of people in this plot. Anyone else want to join it? Yeah, we get another 13%. Uh, I will then invite them to the plot. Anyone else? No? Okay. Right. We have a new heir. Our son, who now likes us because we changed the succession law. Can I uh, demand his conversion? Nope. Well, I can convert when I become him, so that would work. Right. Still building in Shiraz. What are we actually building right now? We're building training grounds. Cool. I can only imagine how Hamdam must feel as if being unable to publicly declare our feelings for each other was not enough. She must lie about the fruit of our love. You know what? I'll visit her. Why not? She is my concubine now, after all. Works for me. During a particularly heated argument in the council, you stepped in as Emir Murmar, the butcher, was making a fool of himself. He managed to soothe the debaters and win the argument for him. This turned out to be a great move on your part, as now feels indebted to you. Oh, He has so many titles, yet has so little power. I think I've had had him before as uh, one of our, um, as our favours, but just nothing can be done from it. Okay. We are about to finish that one in Shiraz. The l late nights, the way my wife, Gonche, has stopped touching me or even looking at me, and now the whispers of her and that foul infidel, Yagana Bint Shaiban. I can't take it anymore. Wait. Sorry. My wife and Yabana? Oh. Alright. Well, we're gonna confront the harlot, Yagana. Or women lovers let them play. Alright, wait. Does that mean... Neither of them have the homosexual trait. I just want to point that out here. I mean... Yeah, I just didn't think Crusader Kings was... I thought you had to have that trait for these kind of things to pop up. Interesting. Anyway, i just never seen that. Uh, I'll confront the harlot. Maybe it's just a random event. Um, maybe it just says, like, random person in court. Random chance of it being one of those. Roll the dice. There we go. The foul trollop, Yagana, admits to having an affair with my wife, uh, sincerely asking for forgiveness and promising to stay away from my wife. Uh, no, denounce them both publicly. Yeah, harlot. I'm gonna imprison you now. Wait, is tyrannical? Oh. I could just ask her to leave. Uh, and she'll join a revolt, she'll go and join a revolt somewhere. No, I'm going to ask her to leave. You're done here. Goodbye. Right. He's now off somewhere else. We'll seek a treatment for our illness. Sure. That's for gout, right? Yeah, for gout. Um, you know what? Just as long as you know what you're doing, do use a well-tested treatment, uh, vassal of mine. The red powder was tantalizing in color, and it made me feel better. That's what I really want. I just want some red powder. Makes you feel better. Nothing wrong with that. We have a new son. Uh, struggle it. Well, not necessarily. Um, no, why don't you have a thrifted? You know, I'll wait till you're six. That seems easier. We have a lot of children. At the table today, Parwen complained about the food being too hot without even touching it. I don't know who you are, but uh, I'll let her wait. No matter what I do... Uh, or avoid doing, there seems to be no good way to make Parwen relax. She won't eat at all now, and I have no more energy to deal with it. Okay, well, um, I have a new strategy for dealing with her. Oh, there, we do have a court tutor. 
Apparently we are just her, um... Yeah. We're not even her educator. Why did we get that pop-up? Oh, it must be because we're in his court. Because we're his spy master. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and our training grounds are done. Subjects are converting back to Zoriastrian in our, um... Where we are, which is good. That's one of the ones that actually has that bloodline, which is nice. Um... So... Hmm. That's actually another one with that bloodline. I just noticed that there. The one we missed. Hmm. Okay. Well, we won't worry about it right now, but... It's interesting. Uh, so is that on the Sheikdom of Quaz of Quizen in Gillen? Or Gillen? Okay. You're a little bit weaker, you are. 1,700. That's a potentially good target. Yeah, so if I declare here, ah, he's not underneath us. Yeah, he's not underneath the same liege. Okay. Probably the same with Nefund, right? Or Nefud. No, Nefud we could attack. Okay. Uh, so what have we got? Cheatdom of Halil. Oh, they're over there as well. Okay. Uh, you don't have that many troops. You do have an alliance with Seuss, though. Hmm. Seuss being one of my vassals, so that probably won't hold up too much. That would allow us to take, um, Hail there. Hmm. Potentially not the worst war in the world. Yeah. Let's go and do that. So let's uh, set that up for next time. So we'll do the clear war. That's my spy master for the Sheikdom of Hail. Yeah, for that one. They get two people coming in. We should have enough troops though. We have, uh, yeah, we have about 6,000 troops against their 2,000 troops. I could see that working. So actually that does say that my vassal's gonna join him, right? No, this is the, the mid, the mid halibids are gonna join him. Oh, okay. That's another 3,000. That's a different question. Oh, because I was looking at the wrong level. Okay, I was looking at the guy who actually held it. Wait, who was I looking at? <laughs> Must be looking at someone completely different, because it's a completely different alliance. Maybe I was looking at us? I don't know who I was looking at, but it was the wrong person. Anyway, it's not that good a war. So, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.